Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Backup and Sync desktop app from Google. Contrary to many of the headlines that have been floating on the internet for the last couple of days, Google Drive is not going away. This Backup and Sync is a replacement for the old Google Drive desktop app. So, let's go ahead and get started with it. We're going to use Backup and Sync. It should be noted here that if you're a G Suite for Education user or a G Suite for Business user, there is a Drive file stream which your domain admin may advise you about. Uh, but we're looking here at the individual user, the download, backup, and sync. Let's go ahead and get started with that. And we see the download package right here. Let's go ahead and open that. All right, and we can go ahead and get started with that. Now you notice I am using this on Windows 10. Now what this app will do for me, and we're done there, is will allow me to automatically back up and sync all of my files to my Google Drive account. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to use it. So let's hide that and let's go ahead here and now find Backup and Sync, my desktop app. Let's get started. And I'll sign in with the account that I'm going to back up and sync, which in this case is the Gmail account that I also use on my Android device. And it helps to remember your password. Now, I use double verification, so I'm going to have to check my phone and get my verification code here. And I recommend using double verification on all of your devices, particularly any device that you're going to share with others. And you can see I can specify the folders that I want to have continuously backed up to my Google Drive. Now, here in my desktop, I may have some video files that I don't want to back up. And the reason I wouldn't back up my video files is they are large and I don't want to use up all of my Google Drive space. Of course, if I do back them up, I can always delete them from my Google Drive later. And we can select Upload My Photos and Videos to Google Photos as well. And we can sync everything, or we can sync only selected folders. Let's sync it all. And away, away we go. And there's the folder that's now on my desktop. And you can see the process is still syncing up. So that's how you can install the new Backup and Sync app from Google. Again, Google Drive is not going away. This is just a replacement for the Google Drive desktop app. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetech4teachers.com.